time boys and I'm Mick. Today I'm going to do chicken and casserole with dumplings on top. Um, first off I'm going to start browning off my onions and garlic in this bowl here. I've got some Thai fillets here I've cut up into cubes and big chunky pieces. And I'm going to mix them in with some flour there just to help with the, the thickening of the stew. Just giving the onions and garlic a bit of a stir here. Now the onions and garlic are all nice and browned off. I'm just going to place in my chicken and the flour there. Let's get that browned up. Alrighty, now I've got my chicken placed in the camp oven. Just going to let it brown off for a few minutes. Alrighty, so my chicken's all nice and brown up there. I'm going to start by adding the rest of my ingredients. I'm going to throw in my carrots and celery I've got chopped up in here. Next thing I'm going to place is my chopped up pieces of potato. Just giving all that a stir now. Next up, I'm going to add in my cream of chicken cooked condensed corn soup. And put in two tins of that. And a tin of whole champignons. And now adding in my chicken stock. Alrighty. Now that I've got all the ingredients in there. But the last thing I'm going to do is add that in about 40 minutes. That's my can of peas and um, some more chicken stock when you report when it's cooked down a bit more. Alrighty, guys. So I'm just going to place the top of the camp oven on there now and the top of the camp oven, mate. Now this product here is by Bill Thompson at Southern Metal Spinners, and um, basically the best thing about this is you can use it anywhere in national park or going camping or fishing. It runs on a gas boil, so you can take it anywhere, and um, it's the best way to cook, I reckon. Alrighty, guys, so just going to let this cook for about 20 minutes. I'm going to check it, maybe top up some of the stock there, and um, we'll get the dumplings ready as well. Alrighty, guys, so now it's time to make the dumplings. So in here, I've got a cup of flour. I'm going to knead in my butter. Mix it up to a fine breadcrumbs. Now that the butter's mixed through, I'm going to add some parsley leaves. And some salt. Quickly mix that through. Form a well in the middle. And we're just going to add in some milk. And then fold it through with a knife. until it forms into a dough. Okay, so now I've got my dough formed, I've got the lid off my camp oven, I've added a little bit more stock to bring it up a bit more, and we're gonna put my peas in now. So just forming some balls in your hand and placing them on top of the camp oven. All right, you continue, just placing these in. Alrighty, now I'm just going to place the lid on top of the camp oven there. And the lid to the camp oven, mate. Just remember when you're cooking with a camp oven, mate, that you've got to control the heat by the knob on your burner. Um, and first off, you would start off boil it, having it nice and hot until the heat builds up in there, and then you turn it down as low as you can get to, like a matchstick, and um, continue cooking. So we're just going to cook that for about 15 minutes there, and um, we should be ready to enjoy it and eat it. So, I had this cooking for about 45 minutes here. Just played some up to show you. We've got two dumplings on there and plenty of chicken and other veggies. Anyway, we'll check you out next week. Have a good day.